friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so we're going to talk about LinkedIn today and how to grow your connections I mean how did I get 16,000 connections on LinkedIn and that I have 701 people wanting to connect with me how do I do that how did I do that you know how did I how do how do I have look look, look at this 287 profile visits to my profile every single month I guess this is over 90 days I guess so every day I get like 35 you know views I mean how do I get that how can you get that what do I what did I do on my profile to make my profile an all-star profile uh, if you look at it right here it says all-star right there so how do you do that what do you need to do what are the secrets to growing your LinkedIn connections what did I use what did I do and how can you do it too we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so are you wanting to grow your LinkedIn connections I mean LinkedIn is one of the platforms that's underrated or underused by network marketers affiliate marketers course creators because it feels more like a it's been at least thought of more as a resume as a more of a this is where you get a job right not necessarily where you build a business but over the last couple of years it has grown a lot in its popularity in terms of business building now you're still going to find people on there they're going to be like oh that's not what, what it's for but you know what you're a marketer you're an online marketer you're building a brand you're getting you're growing your audience you're growing your your fan base so you can use any platform that you want because and I'm not saying to be a jerk about it and to do st stupid things and do things that are wrong because there are good things and there are bad things you could do on any platform and so you got to keep in mind the platform and what it's about and how you know because LinkedIn is a little bit more professional it's not, you don't you don't have as much fun on there you're not going to post like dancing videos actually I I did post a few things about TikTok and you know I post other things but you know typically I'm not going to post necessarily the same stuff and people don't expect the same stuff they want they want things that are congruent that are results driven that are that are going to give them things that they are looking for business wise income wise financial wise you know career wise and yeah probably relationships as well but not in the same not not the same level maybe but anyways it doesn't really matter this is just my thoughts on it but how do you get to a point where you have you know um like like I see uh, uh, I'm not and these numbers aren't like uh, astonishing because I haven't been actively growing my LinkedIn for a while but I did grow my LinkedIn in the past by about a thousand people a month I can actually let me just uh, look something up here I got a, an old file from a while ago that I had done that was about uh LinkedIn uh LinkedIn requests I actually have a geez I took some pictures it was 2017 yeah let's take a look at this let's let's show you this so in 2017 oops I guess I gotta do this move it over here so over in this was when was that that 2017 or 727 that's a request I had seven and seven see I had seven thousand connections back then right 75 97 76 Am I going back in time or forward oh 731 yeah so I'm going forward so 76 21 76 so over a period of so I went from say I go say I show the first one here I went from 75 86 connections to that's I did it quite a quite a while oh okay well let's just say this was uh July this was July 27th and then if I go to August say 27th so 75 I had 78 so 300 more in September I had 8200 in October uh, around the same day October I had in 94 so like a thousand two hundred more that month right 
1200 the month after that I had 10,000 not not a, not a thousand but and then uh, let's say December December 2017 I was at 10,500 January I was at 10,779 and let's go to March let's go to April 2018 I was at 12,000 so I guess I stopped keeping track of that around and then over here 12,755 I go down again to let's say the last time I did this was in uh in March I stopped keeping track in March but the last one of the 27 was 14,000 connections now I'm at as you can see I'm at uh if I go to my network I am at 16,000 connections now I'm just realizing and I hope that that screen was actually showing me showing me right just uh, do this get out of here I want to make sure you could actually see these images oh yeah okay phew because <laughs> I just realized that my screen was kind of zoomed in so maybe those images weren't showing up right let me just make sure yeah okay so yeah so anyways I was at now at 16,000 connections right so 16,000 connections uh and when you go to your profile right you can actually see um the number of followers where's that uh no where is it I thought it was on here oh it's 15 yeah right so I've got 15,356 followers so that I don't I I guess people don't always follow you if they connect with you and or maybe they stop following you after they start to see stuff they're not interested in and that's fine that's the whole concept of building a brand building an audience right so you you want people that are interested in what you have now I haven't actually started using uh LinkedIn as a platform to start to connect and talk to people and have conversations and that's something I definitely want to do eventually because it is a gold mine of business connections right so I mean the first couple of things okay so what are the secrets to growing your connections there's a couple of things right first of all you have to have a profile that people will you know understand who you are what you're about <laughs> and know what your background is so you know like like LinkedIn is about getting jobs about connecting with business people about finding <coughs> new um new opportunities that kind of stuff you do have to have you know your like if I look at my profile right I have my experience in here my jobs and things like that and I have this master's this TikTok course that's on here um I gotta fix that why these images aren't right um anyways I'll have to take a look at that but and then I have my jobs right my different businesses I've, I've been running and also background experience as my you know consult as a consultant DevOps specialist I'd be working at IBM I mean this is kind of like your job resume what is your experience what is your background not just in what you're trying to pedal right if you're if you're trying to build a network marketing <laughs> business trying to build a network marketing business well you're peddling that network marketing business right you're trying to you're trying to grow that you're trying to sell whatever it is you've got you're trying to get people to to join your opportunity watch your presentation all these things so you but you can't just be talking about that on your profile it's no different than any other social media platform you can't be just doing that it's just like going to a to a barbecue you go to a barbecue a family barbecue a neighborhood barbecue whatever and you talk all uh, to everybody about this this business you're in or is this product you're trying to sell them everybody's going to run away from you they don't want to talk to somebody like that they want to talk to somebody who's interested in them right they want to talk to somebody who's like them who's got the same interests the same background the same jobs the same the same you know history where they lived all those things so your profile you know uh on LinkedIn is more about your job about your work about your experience right so it's all about your experiences so same thing with your your skills and endorsements right so you know there this is another thing right so if I look at my endorsements they're all like 99 or whatever right uh, uh if I do this you can see that I've got 99 pretty much everywhere right and that's because of a, t a tactic that there is one thing you do on LinkedIn is called lions being part of lions and I'll tell you that in a second tell you about that in a second but you want to make sure that your education is there your skills are there you want to make sure your job and if you can get recommendations obviously that'd be awesome 
and you know your interests are just like on Facebook where you like things right and follow follow businesses and things like that right all right so that's just part your profile so and and when you're first create your LinkedIn profile they're going to walk you through things that you got to do so you're going to have a, a picture a profile picture you should have some cover photo that that is that identifies what you're about and by the way that cover photo should be the same on all your social media platforms where you can specify a cover photo you should have the same one and me I need to change this because I mean that's still kind of what I do but I I want a new uh, refresh it I want to make a new one so if you're a if you're a graphic artist and you 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 know how to do these these cover photos and you've got to you, you you know do it for you know a decent price let me know reach out maybe uh maybe I want you to do mine right but anyway so that's the thing so you got to have a cover photo profile picture your profile picture should be the same on all your platforms so people recognize you if they go to one platform or the other they know it's you all right um your about section again has to be something that's about your job if you're trying to build um you know you can talk about you see I talk about my my family I talk about my jobs and I also talk about that I have attraction marketing social media marketing that kind of stuff I probably want to update that but anyways you've got to have something that people can look at and say oh that's cool I I like this guy I like this gal and you know they they do something that that I can kind of be interested in right so that's one thing so now the other thing is um okay so that's your basic profile that's the first thing you got to do on LinkedIn if you want to grow really fast the second thing you want to do is you want to set up your account to be a lion you want to be a lion the lion is basically something you add to your um to your experience well, let's see where is it show more no where's the line oh is it taken out no oh there it is right there okay so if I go here this is you can actually take this and copy it exactly like this on your profile as one of your experiences so and just go ahead and copy this exactly like well this part exactly like this make yourself a member of an open networker member open networker lion put that in there make sure that that's exactly you, you have to have line like this you could have l dot i o dot you know with dots between if you want but that's the thing you got to be a line you got to put that in your profile now what is a line as you can see right here a lion is it's that it indicates that I'm a friend and submit the default generated uh, generated text to LinkedIn I'm open to invitations so you have my guarantee that I will accept yours because I am a lion now the other thing is uh the where does it say invite me today all oh, right never idk so I never reply I don't know you so that's something you got to do too if somebody tries to connect with you you can't reply I don't know this person just don't accept them if you don't want to accept them but don't reply I don't know this person the other thing is you don't spam so you're not going to be spamming people you're not going to be sending them links you're not going to be doing any of that stuff you're you're just there to connect right you're not there to try to sell them something and then you're an open endorser so an open endorser means that if I go to your profile let, let's say for example I go and I look at my network my connection request right here I would just want to do this and the now I don't do as much as I used to but I will go through my uh, connections here and I will look at for example somebody who sent me a message right somebody who sent me a message is definitely somebody that I will uh, more likely connect with uh so I mean it's, uh, it's uh, doesn't really matter but the other option is I will look at somebody who's got over over 100 connections in common with me now whenever they have that I uh, automatically accept them because I assume that and that's the thing is I could probably do I could probably do the right thing which is go look at the profile see what they're about see whether they're true or fake or not and then accept them right but I you know you know depending on how much time you have you you should do that obviously I should do that but I'm saying that when I don't have time I don't like I'm going to accept somebody who's got at least 100 when you're starting out you won't have people that have 100 so you won't have a choice to go check them out right but definitely if they send you a message and uh, they then that's another option for you to accept them because they took the time to send you a message right some of them don't even do that so I'm just going to accept this person this person 
uh, just like that so that's I'm going through and I'm accepting right and that's so that automatically the message that they sent shows up okay so um okay so that's the other thing going through your connections what did I want to sh oh all right open net open endorser what does that mean open endorser so now I got these people that I connected with right so I'm just going to go to their profile and I'm going to endorse them on some of their skills so over here she's got two I'm just going to say plus and then I'm going to say uh very I'm going to say highly skilled I'm going to say uh, wait just none of the above and say submit and then I'm going to go like this it used to be a lot simpler um you didn't have to do this part but anyways that's kind of what the open endorsement means I'm I don't know this person but the thing is that why would they post that they know how to do HR margin management if they don't like what's the point I mean sure you'll get some people that are putting fake you know skills right but I mean really that's the point is that if you're on LinkedIn and you're posting your stuff and you've got a good profile and you're posting your skills then they're really your skills so I would go to somebody's profile and I would uh, endorse them right especially if they ask sometimes they'll send you a message to say hey could you endorse me I endorsed you and they might endorse you and that's how I ended up with 99 plus on every single one of my skills right and uh, because I I in the beginning I would ask people I would send them a message saying hey I just endorsed your skills would you mind doing uh, endorsing a few of mine so I would just send them a message saying thanks for connecting uh, I really appreciate that I just went ahead and endorsed you on your skills it'd be great if you could endorse on me and then that's it I just send that that's one of the things I used to do right I don't do that anymore now but that's definitely one of the ways that I grew really fast is by being proactive and comment commenting and and sending connections back now the the so that's one thing being a no a lion uh being a lion putting that in your profile making sure your profile is updated making sure your profile has a profile picture a cover photo your resume your skills everything making sure all that's there and then the third thing is connecting connecting sending connection requests to the right people now when you first start on LinkedIn you won't have a lot of connections you it'll be hard so go ahead and connect with me and the way that LinkedIn works is that when you connect and by the way make sure you send me a message right say hey I saw your 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 episode there about growing your LinkedIn connections and I just thought I I thought I, you said it was okay to connect with you so here it is here's your connection request uh so you can send me a message like that that kind of says and of course if you have anything else if you got questions whatever that's fine but so that's the thing so uh go ahead and send a connection request to me I'll accept you once you're connected to somebody who's got a lot of connections like me right if I go in my network here I mean I've, I'm connected to these like like these crazy connections right I'm connected to um Eric is it Eric Worry? I think so let's let's see Eric Worry. so I'm connected with Eric Worry as a first level connection is that right I'm pretty sure unless he disconnected from me well let's just I guess there's Eric Worry. where is there he is Eric Worry, right so if I go to him he's the net, he, he's a first connection of mine so I'm actually connected with Eric Worry. I'm also connected with Prince Ia right Prince Ia first connection uh, I'm not connected I don't think I don't know who else I'm connected with I mean Mark Lalonde is one of my my first connections uh who else do I have that's uh Mayan Gordon she's a TikTok influencer she's got a million more than well 750 million video views she's got 1.7 million followers on TikTok I'm connected with um and I'm not I don't think so so if I'm connect if I go Grant Cardone for example he's my he's a second right so Grant Cardone is a second level connection that means that he's connected to somebody that I'm connected with as a first level and what happens is when you connect to somebody like me you get Eric Worre's a second connection Mark Lalonde is a Prince Ia and um you know those people that are that have lots of connections I mean you can't see how many people they have but you can see how many followers they have right and if I look at for example uh, Gary Vaynerchuk he's not my first he's a second but he's got 
he's got four million followers right that's insane so if he was to be a connection of mine then that would be like I would actually send him an invite right <laughs> uh but anyways um so who else uh yeah if we go back to uh, Eric Worry, right Eric Worry, he's actually got uh it doesn't say how many followers on here but I think it says down wouldn't it say down here or maybe he doesn't have it in there he's got it hidden let me see is that right mm. yeah it doesn't show I guess he doesn't have that as a public uh, piece of information so we can't see how many but I mean obviously he's got yeah, I'm sure he's got millions of followers right and uh but that's kind of cool that he's a first level connection of mine I think that's awesome but that means that anybody who he's connected to becomes a second level to me right so when I search for first level second so okay so the whole point of this is that when you're trying to find people to connect to LinkedIn will show you first and second level connections as uh, uh so so, on, so so first level connections you're already connected so let's forget about those so he'll it'll show you second level connections as connections you can actually just send a connection request to right it doesn't you can't send a connection request uh, to a third level connection as easily and even and, and more than third level then forget about it unless of course you pay for the premium I don't even pay for the premium but if I go in here and this is the thing you got to send connection requests okay how does that how does that work so first connect with me like I said uh then you'll have 15 16,000 second level connections that you might be able to connect with but what you do is you connect with realtors headhunters and um and and lion and open you know open networkers so first you're going to search for lion you just go like this search for lion and then you're going to have uh and then you can say connections I want just second level connections apply and I want to just people that's great so then what I do is I if you got to make sure see CIO at lion so CIO lions is it's not a lion it's that's an actual business right but if you look at this one this is a lion right here so I'm going to say connect and just uh to verify please oh, okay so some of them okay let's just say to verify this member knows you please enter their email to connect okay so let's just see let's that's an example of somebody who might not be a real lion because a lion would normally have their uh their see they're not really they're not real they're because they didn't follow the rules the rules is you got to have your email address in the description so that somebody can go and paste the email and actually connect with you that way right so let's forget about that person but if I look at this line at lion so there you go so I'm going to connect with Gabriel here and your invitation is sent so I'll just say done and then I'm going to connect with this person here green line no that's not it line at lion uh I'm not sure if that's see that's the thing is sometimes I'm not sure whether they mean they're in a business or not so you're going to go look at their profile and see what they're talking about LinkedIn though well they don't even have anything on there so I'm not going to bother with this person but the thing is that when you're starting out you might not care about too much of that because you're just trying to grow your network so I'm just going to say this one is definitely alliance I'm going to connect uh, this person here director marketing that's not it either so that's the thing is I'm finding a lot of because I've already connected with most of the people that are lions right line open networker connect uh senior uh, line open open to all LinkedIn right connect and the thing is that I can actually add connect done okay so now that's one of the things so you connect with these line people right and then some of them will accept your connections the other thing is a recruiter recruiter right so just recruiter all oh, right and then the other one is did I say real estate agents I'm, I'm not sure but anyways real estate agents recruiters and lions I forget so you just send connection requests to these people right so recruiter uh, I'm just going to connect with this person and that's the thing right if they're recruiters they're open to connecting that's what they want they want to find people to, to whenever they do because whenever people search on LinkedIn unless you're paying for the extra which you see with these little gold uh, badges here unless you're paying with the extra whenever you're searching on LinkedIn it's going to search only your second level connections 
when you're searching for somebody who I don't know like me I, I'm a DevOps right so somebody searching for a DevOps role they want to hire somebody to do DevOps work they're going to search for DevOps and that's going to show them only their first and second level connections so people want to connect with somebody especially somebody like me that's got 16,000 connections they want to expand their second level network right and that's what that's one of the things that that's why they accept it right almost everybody that is a recruiter is going to accept connection requests so I'm just going to send these out now the other thing is uh you have a certain number of uh invitations you can have sent out so if you go back to if I go back to my network so by the way you, <laughs> you do the same thing with real estate agents because real estate agents also want to connect with everybody they're open that's what they do anybody else in your past job and your you know you want to kind of be careful you want to make sure they're people you know so that they don't but you know in the end do you really care about connecting with people that you work with because they're probably not going to help you build your business right so that's the thing you want to be building your business so that's okay so um what else uh, yeah so when you go back to your network here you can see uh your connections your da, 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 where's that where's that uh, there's a place where you go maybe it's under here see all invitations oh yeah right there no sent there you go so there's a sent tab yeah so in the sent tab I can actually look see this is 19 seconds ago right I can go down to this list and oh I guess I haven't connected I haven't sent many connections in quite a while um but you know I've got a connection sent out to Russell Brunson I got a connection sent out to Ray Gary Ty Lopez Grant Cardone Dean Dean hasn't accepted yet um and then and then the rest of the older connections I probably just got rid of them five months ago right I don't know I'll just withdraw right um this one here is five months ago as well she didn't accept if you withdraw you won't be able to resend this person for up to three weeks oh okay that's new that wasn't like that before but you know if they're not if they're not accepting and that's and that this is a person I work with so but that, that's the thing so you can go and you can withdraw your requests to invite people right um, and then that's and that's that's basically it you gotta set up your profile right you gotta add lion to your list of um experiences as a as an experience and you got to connect send connection requests to realtors recruiters or headhunters or you know search for those terms and uh, other lines so connect with those three kinds of people and you can send about a hundred connection requests a day if you want good just go through and send and send and send and send and then you're going to get more and more requests every single day like I was showing you before right that 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 set of that set of uh, things if I show you again um like I was getting I'm not that many but look see this one here I had five invitations that day this day three 15 that day 13 10 10 so when I was taking these screenshots I was also accepting or uh or ignoring any of these uh, connection requests right and that's why I'm seeing just nine I've seen seven four that's the connection request per day in a day I would get these connection requests right and these are some of them are fake right they're fake accounts you know and one of the things you want to do is you might want to not accept the ones that don't have a profile picture you just tap the ignore so it gets out of your list um like me I probably have to I have to go clean that I got 700 something right so I gotta go clean through those but that's the thing so oops where is that there but that's the thing right so I mean as as I was doing this as I was keeping track of how many uh connection requests I was getting every day um I was accepting them and ignoring the ones I didn't want right but that's something that you uh need to do as well all right so that's how you grow your LinkedIn connections you gotta like I said you gotta have a right profile you gotta have the right information in your profile you gotta start, send out connection requests get uh, get yourself into a lion and then connect 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 all right so if you have any questions let me know comment comment below if you have any questions and um 
let me know how how it's going how are you growing your LinkedIn connections what are you doing and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.